everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Friels. I have a cool case for you today. Um, you'll see in just a second, I've already numbed it up because I thought after the fact this will be a good video for you to watch. Uh, but there's basically like a linear line. It's really dark uh, and discolored and we're always concerned and thinking of melanoma. We never want to miss a melanoma. So if you have a dark discolored line, definitely see your um, doctor, your podiatrist, dermatologist right away to make sure it's nothing severe. Hopefully it's just a mole and it's growing out. Again, this started a, a year ago, small spot. Now it's gotten a lot larger. We are already treating her for fungus, but this is something that's kind of new to the area. So anyway, I hope you like the video. I'll see ya. Okay, so what we can see here, and you're welcome to watch or you can look away, your preference. We can see this line here that started about a year ago and it was a very small area and it's just gotten larger over the past year. And this young lady is in here for laser therapy for the thickness of the nail, but we want to make sure before we do any laser treatments that we figure out what's going on here. We're hoping that this is just a mole, or it could be fungus can look like this as well. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. The good news is once we get this removed and get this part taken care of, your new nail coming out will come out much faster with the laser. So you were saying you're a fan of my feet are killing me. <laughs> so this is, so they must have done an episode on melanoma. No, um, on uh, a fungus. On fungus, okay. And of course I've been to the nail salons. And yes. So we are gonna get all of this out of the way. The good news is, is it looks like it's in the nail only. So you can see here again, that discoloration. Again, it can be fungal. Um, could also be from trauma. You can get some blood in there. It can be from a mole. It can be from a mole that's what we call malignant. So then I'm gonna biopsy the area right underneath of where it was just to make sure there's nothing Take a little um, blade, please. Oh, these flimsy. So we get a little piece of the nail bed. I'm gonna need another hand for you to dab this. These guys like to bleed, so that's good. That's how we heal. Okay. Go ahead and just move that. And give it a good, no, big, big dab. None of that hurt. What's that? None of that hurt. Oh, good. Not, not the numbing injection or anything. Wonderful. This is such a small area. It's only about two and a half millimeters, which is all we need. Get that little guy out of there. And we're gonna send him to the lab. Make sure there's nothing in there. And then the goal is we're gonna continue with laser. There we go. Perfect. Okay, send that. Really important not to squeeze that too hard. And like I said, these guys like to bleed, so we're gonna put an initial bandage on, let it sit here for a minute to stabilize, and then we'll probably do a different one in just a minute. Okay. So again, for your home, you'll be doing your soaking, sprinkling that little collagen wound powder in there. I'll have you come back in about two weeks, and then we will do a, um, okay. go over the biopsy results, and then um, get a game plan from there. I'm personally planning on going ahead and doing a laser therapy. This is all gonna be healed. Mm -hmm. and then I just want to get that new nail out. But we'll just make sure there's nothing else in there. Okay, okay? if I hear good. anything before that, I will call you personally. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, follow the channel, learn some more educational fun stuff. All right.